name is Tom Lofquist. Today we're going to do a painting, very quickly show you how uh, this master's glazing technique actually works out. So let's get started. We start with a pencil, get our image here. I'm much more comfortable with a brush or airbrush in my hand than a pencil. So most of the time, I don't do this much of a sketch. On some of my paintings, I'll start with airbrush and then come back with a paintbrush later. Other times, I'll start with a paintbrush and finish with the airbrush. Yet other times, I'll just use a paintbrush with no airbrush. And on rare occasions, I'll just do all airbrush. It just depends on the look and style of painting we are trying to achieve. I've used the airbrush for well over 30 years now, mostly because I learned to paint with acrylic, and acrylic doesn't blend that well, and I had difficulty achieving the blending I wanted. Even though I now use oils, and oils blend and are much more buttery than acrylic, I can't help myself when it comes to the airbrush. It's just a lot of fun to use. By building up many layers of transparent glaze or paint, you can gain a high degree of control over the light and color of the painting we are trying to achieve. 